Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Hello, welcome to Six Minute English. I'm Neil and I'm Rob. No, Rob, you look like you enjoy a good meal. Ha! Huh. Well, I do like eating out and I like to think I know a good meal when I have one. Well, that should give you an advantage with today's quiz in 2016, which is the last year we have statistic for how many restaurants and mobile for a service there in UK. What was it? A. About 75,000 B. About 83,000 Or C. About 93,000 Well, I know they are a lot, so I'm going to say 93,000 But that is just a guess I'll reveal the answer a little later in the program. Today we are talking about being a foodie. Rob, what is a foodie? Well, I will describe a foodie as someone who has a strong interest in food. They like preparing it as well as eating it. They like using good ingredients and they are probably not fans or fast food. Angela Hartnett is one of Britain's top chefs. In the BBC podcast, The Bottom Line, she'll talk about this topic. In this first clip, how does she subscribe people who say they are foodies? I think people who say they are foodies buy the books, watch TV, and will cook a little bit. She is saying that people who say they are foodies may not actually know that much about food. They buy books and watch cookery programmers and TV will cook a little bit. A little bit is common pairs and means a small amount. And if you do something a little bit, it means you don't do it a lot. You could just say a little, but adding bit to the pairs make it very natural. Well, we heard a little bit of Angela Hartnett there. Let's hear more now. What's her description of a foodie? My idea of a foodie is very European idea that people go and shop every day. They understand one and of a pick from another. And maybe that's a bit romantic, but I look at my mother. I look at my grandmother and our background you know. That made food that knew about what was expensive, that knew about quality and stuff like that. Rob, do you know one end of a pig from another? I hope so, but the point Angela Hernet is making it a, a true foodie has good understanding. For example, of the different parts of an animal that are used in cooking and, and what they are used for. She says that idea might be a bit romantic. We normally think of the word romantic when we are talking about love and relationship, but that's not what it means here, is it? Oh, romantic can also describe a pleasant ideal, an imaginary perfect way of life that forgets about the difficult things of everyday existence. Let's hear some more from Chef Angela Hernet now. What is she worried about? I think we think we are foodies, but I think food is expensive in this country. I don't think it's affordable for lots of people and I think we are in danger of not knowing, you know, how to cook anymore, how to make a meal for a family for four five pounds. So Robs, what is Angela Harnett worried about? She comment that food was very expensive here in Britain, many people don't have enough money to buy it. As she said it's no affordable. She thinks we might be in danger of not being able to feed our families cheaply. Can you say a bit more about the pairs in danger of? Sure, the price to being in danger of is followed by a churn and it means there is possibility of something bad happening. It's not happened yet, but it could happen. Thanks Rob. Right. Well, we are in danger of running out of time, so let's get to the answer the question. I asked at the start of the program. I asked how many restaurants of mobile food service there were in the UK in 2016. And I said it was a guess, 93,000. But was I right? I'm afraid you are 10,000 out. The answer is approximately 83,000. Right. Well, if still got a few more to get to before I can stick them all off my list. Me too. Well, before we go, let's reserve the word and pairs we'll talk about today. The first was foodie. Yes, foodie is a modern word to describe someone who is very interested in all aspects of food from buying, preparing, and cooking to eating. And someone who may or may not know which and of a pig eats which. 
I think you are being a little bit silly there around you. Well, a little bit was our next pairs, wasn't it? Yes, a little bit a very simple but a very natural conversational pairs that means a small amount. The next word was the adjective romantic. Not used in the context of love here talk, was it? No, it's a one. A romantic idea here is one that is not realistic, but is an image perfect situation. For example, we have a very romantic view of a childhood when every Christmas was a white Christmas and every summer holiday was baking hot as pan on the beach. Of course, it wasn't like that at all. In the reality, both Christmas and summer were cool and rainy. Then we have the attractive affordable for something we have enough money to buy. Finally, the pairs to the being in danger of. Yes, for the possibility of something bad happening. Well, that's it for the program. For more, you can find us on the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our YouTube page. And of course, our website, bbclearningenglish.com, where you can find all kinds of videos and audios for gamers and activities to help you improve your English. Thanks for joining us and bye! Bye-bye! Well, I have to say, I'm a little bit hungry and if I don't get some food soon, I'm in danger of getting very grumpy. You are always grumpy now, but there is a very affordable cafe around the corner. Let's head over there now, shall we? Six Minute English from the BBC.